Here at Redmond High School, super fanning is an integral part of the high school experience. We set out to discover some of the challenges that these students face in the ins and outs of super fanning. But before we do that, we need to know exactly what a super fan is. What it means to be a super fan is to be excited about every sport and stay till the end, no matter what the results. They help the athletes become more motivated and they make us feel like there's something worth fighting for. The true super fan shows up when things aren't going as well, we're not winning as many games as we like, but they still come to support. It's, it's a lifestyle, it's um, supporting your team through thick and thin, it's being there when it's raining or shining. The atmosphere of super fanning is definitely like no other, it can't be repeated anywhere. Uh, you, all you see is green and gold, everyone twinkling from head to toe. We put on our bandanas, we'll put on our face makeup. Um, we'll put on our long socks, sometimes tights, our short shorts, our, our hats, our glasses, whatever we got. Uh, by the time you get there, you're just, you're just like super excited. They all got like their face paint, their war paint on, and you know, you just know it's going to be a really good night and it's really special. Every year, super fans show up in their green and gold to support the football, basketball, and other sporting teams. So we sat down with Jonathan Kirshner, senior linebacker, and Nick Swanson, junior quarterback and basketball forward. However, not all games are big turnouts paired with high energy. We did see a very big turnout in baseball, however, which is why we sat down with Kevin Calderhead, senior center fielder and pitcher. The super fans that got me excited for the season was the first game of the season against Newport. I think one of the most exciting games was the Skyline game. So one game uh, this season against Mount Si, we were tied up in the seventh inning, two to two. It's at Newport, and not expecting like a lot of people to come, but there was a ton of fans. And throughout the game, we could just hear them cheering and getting the chants going. Once it got down to that last shot, and once he missed it, the whole gym erupted. We scored the guy, and we all came running out of the dugout and mobbed him by second base. And I remember turning around and seeing the entire crowd up and yelling too. We packed the stands, we filled it, everyone stormed the court, and it was something I'll never forget. The most helpful thing for a super fan to do is just be loud and rowdy. If you get loud and rowdy, it can mess with the other team by like getting in their heads. You look over and you see guys just jumping all over each other, getting hyped, someone makes a shot, someone makes a big play, and everyone goes crazy, everyone wants someone to succeed, and it's, it's really fun to be a part of. You make a really big play and you say they're way louder than the other team and it just really gets you going. Since the class of 2015 will be graduating soon, the class of 2016 has big plans for the future. Recently announced, Bryce Mack will be the brand new Superfan captain. This position is awarded to a student who leads the Superfan section. Uh, getting the students involved with the scores down, you just got to uh, start things that are fun but also help the game. Like singing, as I was saying, that's fun, and it also throws the other team off. The roller coaster is to get everyone hyped up after halftime, right when we're all sitting for a little bit, we gotta stand back up, and we all get moving again and stretch out a little bit, and the roller coaster just gets everyone hyped up for the second half. Uh, you know, we really just kinda yell as loud as we can at the people who are not yelling. Can you demonstrate how you would do that? <laughs> Freshman, speak louder! It means a lot to be a super fan. Uh, I really like supporting my school and going to all the games, being with my friends, and just enjoying the atmosphere that I'm in. Redmond's administration and faculty also play key roles in school sporting events. Not only are they there to supervise the events, but they're also there to support the team. Among our elite faculty, we have none other than our athletic director, John Applegate, who has been to more sporting events than any other student in the school. My favorite super fan is the one that wants to play. I mean, the, the super fans aren't limited to the people in the stands. The people that are playing are as big a supporters and as big a fans as Redmond because they're going out there to represent. The last thing I ever wanted to be is more fun to super fan than to participate. But not everybody participates in every sport. Not everybody participates in sports. And I think when you super fan, maybe you're not good enough to make the basketball team or, or the girls soccer team but you can still go out and support them. And I think that's, that's what's special is it, it takes that team aspect and permeates it to the, to the student body. Even though super fanning is a fun and positive activity for RHS students, we do face scrutiny from other schools for our unconditional school spirit. Most of this occurs on social media as well as in person at the sporting events. 
King Coast Mac, a popular Twitter page, is a platform for any student in and around King County to anonymously submit tweets that mostly pertain to sports. Some of these posts are positive and show good sportsmanship, however, most are not in the spirit. For example, on February 2nd, 2015, King Coast Mac posted a submission that read, quote, Redmond has way too much pride for a school with absolutely terrible athletics. From everyone. Additionally, Redmond faces scrutiny during the games through the chance of opposing teams. As a student section, the superfans find it difficult not to defend themselves and their team. However, the students try their best to take the high road and maintain good sportsmanship. At games, a lot of times it's like they'll start a cheer and they want us to respond. I think Redmond has kind of a cool reputation of being the school that is respectful. Like our players are respectful, our coaches are respectful. Redmond has a lot of class and we don't really get involved in all of that bashing on Twitter because we, we don't care. Whether our teams don't win, we're still having fun and we're still the best super fans. It's no secret that Redmond does not always have a winning record, but by keeping the fans up, the spirits are high too. The Redmond High School football team had a 1-8 record and the basketball team had an 8-17 overall record. However, super fan attendance was near perfect. Keeping the energy up when the score is down is a vital part to super fanning. Because of the school spirit, as well as limitless support from the student body and staff, the distinction of a Redmond High School super fan will be passed down from class to class. Undoubtedly, Redmond High School's spirit will be passed down for many more years to come. Go Stangs!